<laughs> Good resolution for this year. Hit it harder and faster and bigger and better and longer than I did last year. Um, man, if you've seen my schedule, it'd make you nuts. I literally, January, February, March, and half of April, I, I have times I go, uh, okay, I get on a plane Wednesday in Denver. I get off the plane in, in Yuma, Arizona. I spend a week down there. I leave down there on Wednesday. I get back to Denver Friday. Okay. Uh, no, excuse me. I get back to Denver on that particular trip on Thursday. Uh, then Friday, I catch a plane and head for uh, uh, Orlando, Florida. Uh, get down there, come back, do a Denver show. Seven weeks. It's run, 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 run. Um, you know, and so what am I going to do for uh, New Year's resolution? Okay, well, I'm getting older, so I'm going to have to slow down one of these days. But before I do, I'm really going to hit it hard. And we're going to do some more video work. Uh, we're going to make our website bigger. Um, I don't know. We're getting somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 25 orders a day now off the website. That's pretty good. Uh, the views are looking really good. They're going up. I think we have almost 25,000, maybe pushing 26,000 followers on our YouTube channel. Uh, October 1.14 million views okay and um, we're getting a lot of compliments uh, you know we try to shoot good quality we're not absolute professional you know but we try to keep it pretty good um, we get uh, compliments on you know the color the the clarity and and the places that we go um, we catch a lot of hell once in a while when we get caught out somewhere without a windscreen we might get, uh, you know just add some character on the um, so things like that, travel a little bit more, maybe do some more places. Uh, I'm kind of, I thought I might make it up to uh, uh, Alaska, uh, where Deadliest Catch uh, is filmed and went right out of my head. No, I don't know where I'm going there. But um, anyways, uh, I, I couldn't find the gun show that the guy told me about, so probably won't go there. Maybe in the summer, I'm going to try to go. Uh, Point Barrows, Alaska is a really out of the way place. Um, you know, it's up by Nome, I think. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to, I like Alaska. I'm going to try to go to some place like that, you know. Dutch Harbor, that's what I was trying to think of. Um, I kind of wanted to see it in February, just see how nasty maybe it is. And who knows, maybe it'd be my luck. I'd get up there and be the nicest February on record, you know. And, um, I was in Ketchikan, Alaska for three months in 1995 when I got up there in May. Uh, it was 50 degrees. It just got better. It got up to about 60 degrees. They had the most wonderful spring they'd had in years and years and years. R running around in a, in a short sleeve shirt, you know, working, uh, making $1,000 a week, take home, company car, company truck, you know, credit card. Company was paying for our stay. That was at the Ingersoll Hotel, if you've ever been to Ketchikan, Alaska. Uh, we were on the third floor. Uh, about the middle of the May, the big cruise ships start coming in. Uh, five cruise ships a day. Uh, great pillage and plunder is what the people that run the stores would say. Uh, in between cruise ships and stuff, they're running as fast as they can to fill the shelves with more product. By 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock that night, everything's gone. They have five people restocking the shelves. It's really funny because I got to be friends with some of the people that run the stores, the restaurants, the candy shop right next door. Every weekend, I'm not, we worked 40 hour weeks, Monday through Friday, got off at four o'clock, 4.30 on Friday. Every weekend we'd have a kind of a luau, a barbecue. Um, Mike and I, my boss would bring the halibut and the salmon and another guy would bring the crab, another guy would bring the shrimp, you know. Um, some more people bring the uh, salads and stuff like that. Steve always had the parties at his place, so he provided the place, really cool place, you know, big bonfire barbecues, all this food for three months. You couldn't even begin to believe what it's like because basically it's all free. You have to go, Mike and I would go catch the halibut and the salmon. We could do that right off the docks or we'd pay Steve to take us out on the boat. And um, the water was like glass. It's kind of an inland uh, deal where you have some islands to break the wind and, and you can fish in there. The bald eagles coming down, take a picture of bald eagles. Uh, Man, it was an experience like you couldn't believe taking home $1,000 a week for a 40 hour week. So I need to do things like that. Um, so this year, just ramp it up, uh, maybe a little more travel, more videos, uh, more to the website, things like that. This is Brad. Please go to sharpsnest.com.